Hello, my friends. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. Today I'm making another garden harvest juice. This pumpkin came up from the compost last year when I buried some pumpkin seeds and we've got some bell peppers here and a few other ingredients. Let's look at the rest of my ingredients. Now in addition to my pumpkin, and I've already cut the top and the bottom out on this pumpkin, and that's all you have to do and then slice it into manageable pieces. I've also got about 18 large collard leaves from my garden, some garlic, one huge beet that I've already sliced into manageable sections, one whole head of garlic, 150 grams of turmeric, French sorrel, and carrots. So let's start by juicing the collard greens. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is install the near-zero blowback cutter, and you'll notice it has teeth cut into the blades. So if you want to get your cutter uh, made with uh, bl uh, teeth in your uh, blades, let me know and I'll get that arranged for you. So we'll put on the cutter. And then we'll plug in the thermometer. And I want to point out that I'm using the front loading feed tube that eliminates 100% of your blowback. You will never have blowback up to your ceiling. Now I'm going to start with three or four ice cubes. And then that's because I want to cool down the cutter and the, the feed tube because I'm already up to 26 degrees centigrade and that's too hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the collard greens. And what I'm going to do is put one or two of these leaves in at a time. I'll fold this in half, roll it into a tube so it's easy to feed in. Now notice how easy it is to put that collard leaf in there. Now one little tip, when you roll this into a, a tube, it's better to push the stem in, in first. Now I'm going to put in more ice cubes, we're over 20 again. Then the small pepper. This pepper we're going to have to cut in half, but I'm going to cut out the stem first. Now we'll continue with my collard greens. Next, my garlic. The ginger. my turmeric with collard tell my motor's working hard so I'm going to clean the grid. You have to sometimes pry it out. Much too much fiber on that. And you clean both sides and you notice I put the grid in the palm of my hand. You don't hold it like that. The palm of your hand and we'll continue. Again with color. the last of my collard greens. So I'm going to start now with my small pumpkin pie pumpkin. And here's 
is the last of the pumpkin. And we're going to do the seeds as well. And then more French sorrel. the last of my French sorrel and then I'm going to start on carrots. Now one thing I'm going to do is put in three ice cubes to cool down the cutter. Three or four. And now I'm going to feed in two carrots, and notice how I put the big end toward the small end so I can get two in at a time. Now I'm going to put in a couple of carrots and allow the pulp to come out. And the reason for that is I want to absorb this juice that collects in the bottom of the tray. Absorbs juice very, very well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is clean this grid, switch to the number two grid, which is better for carrots, beets, and root crops. Put that in the sink and clean it later and switch to the number two grid. And we'll begin juicing carrots. Here's the last of my carrots. Now one thing I do when I've done the last of my carrots, I can look in here to see if there's any unshred produce, and sometimes it's hard to tell. So what I do is put a couple of fingers full of carrot pulp in here, and I will force through any remaining produce. Now the next step is to clean the feed tube, the grid, and mix the produce and make some juice. So let's do that now. The next thing I'm going to do is mix this produce. As you can see, it's very, very full, so I have to be very, very careful. And I'm going to spin the bowl all the way around in both directions so I get a really, really good mix. Now I'm going to show you my less work six cloth method, but before I do that, I want to remind you, never leave the cutter on the juicer. And you want to put a little bit of oil in here and on the shaft, usually three in one oil, not vegetable oil because it'll get rancid. So let's take the juice tray, put it in here, and we'll start folding cloths full of pulp. Three scoops or about a cup or a cup and a half into each cloth. Fold it over in thirds like this. Little crease back here to enable your folding. Fold it into as tight a package as you can make. And I want to remind you to place the pulp. Don't throw it because it will splatter and hit you in the face. So press that down. Nice tight package. Fold it in thirds, as tight a package as you can make. These first two are going to go into the tray, centered left to right, centered front to back. The lever goes all the way back and back it off a little bit. The reason you back it off is you don't want this to go up too fast. So we'll continue folding cloths full of pulp. Now when I'm on my last cloth, advance that all the way. And here's my six cloth less work method. This goes forward, that goes over. Spent cloths go on top. Two more cloths into the press. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now you don't throw away your pulp. What you do is put two scoops on top of the spent pulp and fold it into as tight a package as you can make. If you have a puddle in the bowl, you would put your pulp in the puddle to absorb it, but we don't yet, so 
two more scoops on top of the pulp. And when you're on your last cloth, advance that all the way. You can see I have a ribbon going here. Nice tight package. And here's my less work six cloth method again. This goes forward, that goes over, the spent cloths go on top. And we continue. Two more cloths in the press. Centered left to right, centered front to back, adjust it if need be, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And we'll continue putting new pulp on top of the old pulp. A little bit later we'll put only one scoop on top, but for now we're going to put two scoops. Now this goes forward, that goes over, the spin cloths go on top, and as you can see my bowl is full, so we'll have to put those in the bottles. Now set your tray back so it doesn't drip on the countertop, but not a little. If you do it a little, it's going to cause you to forget and you'll damage your tray. Put it back a lot so it's very, very obvious. So more juice into bottles. I'm going to fill this from the back side so the camera gets a good view. And I'm leaving 10% for filtered water. I don't like my juice to be too sweet, so for me and also for a diabetic, you don't want your juice to be too sweet. So let's make more juice. Now we're going to make more juice, so the first thing I'll do is pull that tray forward, make sure it's seated on the press properly. Two more cloths full of pulp in the press. Again, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off, and continue making juice. Now, I notice a puddle of juice in my juice tray, so I'm going to crush this up and put it in the puddle of juice. Brush that up, put it in the puddle, and we'll continue. And again, we're going to put three scoops instead of two because we have a brand new empty cloth. And we'll continue like that. Another two filled cloths full of pulp into the press. Make sure it's on the press plate properly. Centered, left to right, front to back all the way back, back it up. Now what I'm going to do with this spent pulp is I'm going to demonstrate how the whole health foundation model with this solid bottom plate can give you 10% more juice. So I'm going to take the spent pulp and form it into a tight package. And I'm going to use a special folding technique on my cloth by folding it under two or three times like so then in both directions. As you can see I've packaged the spent pulp into three double packets and what I'm going to do is use a measuring beaker to measure how much more juice we can get using a whole health foundation premium model juicer. So let's push this down as much as we can put two cloths full of repackaged pulp into the press into the center Left to right, centered, front to back, centered, all the way back, and I'm going to back it off a little bit. Well, three ounces so far. Well, there we have 17 ounces. That's more than one bottle full of juice. Probably a bottle and a half more of juice. Well, I'm going to stop this video now because I don't want it to be too long. And what I'm going to do is mix this repressed pulp with the rest of the juice and put them into bottles. Now as you can see I have 5, 10, 15 bottles of juice and plenty left over for a taste test. And remember about one and a half of these bottles came from pressing the already spent pulp that most people would throw away. And that's because the Whole Health Foundation model juicer has a solid bottom base plate and many other parts that help you get more yield out of your produce. All right, my friends, another garden harvest juice with a large quantity of collard greens and a small pumpkin, plus the other ingredients you saw at the beginning of this video. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it's very sweet. It has a tiny bit of a bite, I think, from those three 
uh, peppers that I put in, but very, very tasty. Well, I hope you like what you've seen, my friends, and if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust.cox.net, and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video.